Hello friends and angry people of the internet. Although this looks like sand, this is actually quartz. We've mixed it with hot wax, poured it into a shell, and created a nice cylinder-shaped slug. Now this is a rather light slug, weighing about one quarter of the weight of a slug made out of lead shot. I want to thank Randy for sending me this quartz for us to test. All right, so this one's a, a little composite of quartz, sort of like a wax slug, but uh, made out of little quartz granules. We'll see how that holds together as we fire into some gummies. All right, here we go. That's a pretty decent thump. Yeah? Yep. That was better than I thought. Yeah. As this high velocity massive quartz and wax slam into the gummy bear, it just dumps its energy into that bear. It didn't even go through the first bear, in fact. The energy of the slug was transferred outwards into the bear, causing an enormous cavity and doing a lot of damage, but very shallow damage. In fact, did, it, did it even go out, exit? It did not exit, but it's very, very close to his back. In fact, if you look here, I can actually push some of it right, oh, wow. right out the back because it's very close. There's a lot of sand right there. Is that your finger? That's my thumb. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but boy, look at all that. That's, that, oh, stayed, man. that stayed 100% in him. Wow. Let's see how this performs against the lead plate. And here we go. It's got some thump down range, that's for sure. Yeah. And as we would expect, the, the damage is rather shallow, but it did have a lot of energy, enough to flip that 20-pound lead plate end over end. So far, the accuracy of the slug is, is better than what I expected. It's a light slug, but it's still staying on course. Left a little crater there. Sort of, it's rough, rough little crater, sort of sandblasted out. Giant hard drive. Whenever you're ready. This one made a hell of a dent. Again, sort of sandblasted it. Real rough little hole there. Jeez. Now we definitely know a lot more about this hard drive now. Uh, about 100 people sent me uh, URLs to old publications of when this hard drive was made, somewhere in 1997 and 1999, how much it costs and all that. So thanks everyone for, for doing all that legwork and find out more about this 47 gig hard drive. It's a wax skull. Okay, hit it. Oh, <laughs> that well, was good. That was the end of that. Wow. Now my friend John gave me this wax candle skull thing like two years ago and it's been in the back of my truck this whole time and it's finally it's like, hey, let's shoot this thing and see what happens. And it was pretty cool. That thing just exploded into a bunch of pieces and the little shards went probably 50 feet in every direction. Jawbreaker, ultimate accuracy test. Dang it, look at this. <laughs> One of the only shards we found out there. Yeah, I just pulverized that thing. I'll leave this for the coyotes. <laughs> Or the kids. Now this giant jawbreaker is about the size of a billiards ball. A very large jawbreaker. And uh, the slug was both accurate enough to hit it and powerful enough just to break it into very small pieces. Really cool shot there. Ready? Okay. Oh, wow. I got uh, sprayed with clay back here. <laughs> I got hit too. Wow. Now this slug had a lot of energy transfer causing very large but shallow cavities in all the targets that we shot. Now when you compare this to something made out of solid lead or even a solid steel projectile, the results are very different. It just shows you the diversity of shotgun slugs and how they can have different effects, totally different results using the same gun. Out of all the targets that we shot today, which one was your favorite and which would you like to see us use more in future videos? I want to thank Randy for sending me the 
quartz to test out. And I want to thank you guys for watching the video and your nice comments. Thanks again.